Hey, what's up guys? Marco here. Welcome back to another lesson. So I want to talk to you about melodies and chords and I want to show you how to add a chord progression to the melody. We are going to break down the whole thing into three different levels. We're going to start with the melody only and then we're going to add the chords in the most simple way and then we're going to spice things up and we're going to add the percussive approach. So the melody sounds like this. Now, as you can see, we are playing the melody, but I like to let these notes ring out. So, put down a sort of a D sus2 chord. We have the G string for two and the B string for number three, and the top B string open. We are going to arpeggiate these notes. Now we have uh, a pickup bar, meaning we have three notes before the first bar. So we will count one, two, three, four. And we have these three notes, so the G string, the B string and the E string open. And then we have the first bar with the first note, which is going to be played on the top E string for number one, sorry, for number two, the F sharp. E string open, the B string fret number three, E string open, and back to the B string for number three. So when I do it slowly, three, four, one. Then I have the same set of notes, but the melody uh, ends in a slightly different way. So I'm gonna have the same notes, two, three, the E string open, the fret number two, open, B string fret number three, and the E string open. So far I have. Now we're gonna change it up a little bit. So I'm playing the fret two again, fret three, E string open, fret number two. This time I'm gonna go up, fret number three, five, five. And the B string, fret number three. And I finish with this set of notes. So the E string, fret number three, two, the B string, fret number three, E string open, fret number two, and the E string open. Now we're gonna add the chord progression. We are in D major. So we can add all the chords that belongs to the D major key. For example, the D major, the E minor, the F sharp minor, the G major, the A major, the B minor, C sharp diminished, and back to the D major. Now the melody with the chords sounds like this. So for the first uh, chord, I'm gonna be playing the D major chord. I'll start with the note of the melody. And then I'm playing the D string open, which is the root note of the D major chord, uh, when I play the top E string for number two. Then the E string open and the B string for number three. Now this is perfect because, you know, it's the chord one and we're gonna start uh, the chord progression with the root chord. Now the second chord we have, I have these two notes, and I like how they sound over the B minor chord. So I'm gonna play the A string for number two, the top E string open, and the B string for number three. And then I have the same uh, pickup notes. Now I'm gonna play the pickup notes with the uh, finger two here because you know I'm playing the bass note with the finger one. So fret two, three, and open. And then I have the melody going like this, and I feel that the G major and the A major uh, work just perfect, so the chord four and chord five. Um, so the top E string fret number two with the melody, the bass note on the low E string fret number three, E string open, and the D, B string fret number three, and I finish 
with the A major chord, which is played with the A string open and the top B string open. Make sure that you let the melody ring out along with the chord. Now we have. We're gonna keep the same chord progression, so we're gonna have the D major and the B minor on the fret 5 and the same G major chord um, on the low E string fret 3 and we finish with this A11 um, which is going to be strummed with the thumb um, so we're just going to lightly strum this chord and I'm playing the A string open, the D string fret number 2, the G string open, the B string fret number 3 and the top E string open so I'm playing root note, 5th, uh, minor 7, 11th, and 5th again. So when I put the whole thing together slowly, now I finish. So in order to make this section conclusive, I'm going to basically play three different chords. I'll play the D major, same melody, but then after this I'm going to play the E minor 7. So I strum this chord lightly, B string and G string, and then the C at 9. So it's 3, 2, open, 3 and open. Now the C at 9 doesn't really belong to the D major, but it's a beautiful sound, so we can just kind of, you know, throw this chord in. Now D step 3 is going to be a little bit more challenging. We are going to add the thumb slap and strum, and we're also going to embellish the notes of the melody with a hammer on. So it sounds like this. Now the thumb slap and strum will always be played on the second and the fourth count. Now on the second count is a little bit more difficult because we have the thumb slap and strum. So we're gonna strike the string with the thumb, but at the same time strum some of these strings with the middle finger. And on the second, on the fourth count, we're only gonna use the thumb slap, which is slightly easier. So this is how we're gonna break it down. For the D major. We have the melody and then I play the D string and the E string open and a quick hammer on on the front number two just to add a little bit more rhythm to the melody. Then I have the E string open, the bass note again with the thumb and then the thumb slap and strum. I am striking the D string with the thumb and I'm strumming the G and the B string with the middle finger. So. Now the second chord is slightly easier because it's the B minor, so we're only going to play the A string and the E string open, then the melody on the B string for number 3, the thumb slap only on the A string, and then the rest of the melody. So I have... Now the third chord is the G major. So I have the low E string fret 3 and the E string open, hammer on on the fret number 2, the E string open, bass again, and the thumb slap and strum. Now I'm, I'm striking the low E string and I'm strumming the D, the G and the B string. And then I have the A11. I'm just gonna lightly strum this chord with a thumb. So. thumb slap and the three pickup notes. Then I have So 
So the same uh, pickup notes, the same D major with a hammer on on fret two, then the fret number three and the fret number five on the E string with the thumb slap and strum. Make sure that you mute all the strings. Uh, so you want to strike the A string and strum the other strings, but you're only going to have the A string ringing out. Then the B minor on fret five and the B string fret number three. And then we have the last chord. Now this one is slightly easier because we don't have the hammer on. So we play the melody on the E string fret number three, two, and then we play the low E string and the B string fret number three. E string open bass note again and the thumb slap and strum with the top E string for number two and we finish with the A11 uh, so thumb slap and we finish with the last three chords So the D, E minor 7, and the C at 9. And then we're going to add the three more chords, D minor, so just the D minor chord. We start with the pickup notes, and then I have the E string for number 1. You can strum, you can pluck the whole chord, the C major. We're playing the C at 9, so the fret 3 and 3 on the A and the B string, but we start with the A string and the top E string open, the B string and the G string, and we finish with the B flat major 7 chord, which is 1, 3, 2, and 3. So that's it guys, this is how we can start with just the melody and then add the chords and then add a little bit more of a challenging step with the percussion. I really love the percussion, um, but obviously it's a little bit more challenging, so really take it step by step. Now I'm gonna leave you to practice these chords. Make sure that you get the tab if you need it, it's available on my Patreon page. Otherwise, just enjoy this tutorial and good luck with the chords and the melody. Talk to you soon.